Welcome back to Mzansi Petrolheads, your one-stop site for everything cars, reviews, events, and many more. And in today's video, we are reviewing the brand new Ford Everest Wildtrak V6 variant. Priced just under 1.1 million. This car is a pretty nice car to have, so let's dive right into the review. Good day guys and welcome back to the channel and today we are reviewing the Ford Everest Wildtrak, the first ever Wildtrak on the Everest variant. So this one is powered by a 3 litre 6 cylinder diesel V6 engine. Ooh, and the sound, it sounds really smooth and nice. It produces 184 kilowatts and 650 meters of torque, which is more than enough. On the road, this car's presence is just unexplainable. As soon as you're on the highway in the fast lane, everybody just moves out of the way for you, especially because of these C-shaped led headlamps and because of this two-tone front bumper which is very very aggressive and this car is very huge um it's very huge on the outside but once you get on the inside you feel a bit cramped but not too badly though because most of the car's way up size i may say is meant for the right, right height it's very high and it's meant for off-roading it even has get this it's like a, it's like a raptor you got this joint underneath here we have a metal railing so which means you don't have to be worrying about scratching anything along the way but one thing i do like is this 20 inch alloy rims which really do look nice and tell you that this is a wild track unlike the previous wild tracks i feel like they had a lot more detailing to show that they are wild track in terms of this one you just have six badges you have uh one on the on the side another one that side one in the front uh two on the front seats and one at the back but overall this car believe it or not is a seven seater very spacious um i don't know who will be sitting in the back seats because uh someone as tall as me definitely does not fit on those seats but generally i like a lot of things about this car and i i just can't afford the fuel consumption honestly it comes with a tow bar um it's not a standard option and it is four-wheel drive with many uh, off-roading options uh, which i will dive into once i get on the inside but this one has it dubbed in a nice white color and i really do like the looks of this color and i just wish this uh brake lights they would just you know play along the whole beam here so it could light up the whole bar but generally so i'm fully impressed with the car so let's hop onto the inside and you are greeted by this nice leather interior and this nice head-up display with a 12 inch infotainment system and the orange stitching to tell you that it's a wild track the only way you will know it's a wild track when you're on the inside not the only way is the wild track uh naming here and the yellow stitching that really comes on wild track only and then you have ambient lighting uh cup holders which just pop out very smoothly look at that very nice you have your lighting options here and you can open the boot from the back when you press there as you can see now it is opening um can i close it from here let's see let's see yes it's closing very good so simply to let me start up the car so we can just talk about a few things so i've had this car for a week now and i haven't really been driving it because in my budgets right now i'm not really good in terms of fuel i've been averaging about 13 sometimes it gets to 10 depending on how you're driving i've driven 680 kilometers i've refueled a couple of times not bad um the infotainment system has so many things which i like uh, to keep the kids busy which i might say we have the sketch notepad which i thought is only for drawing but um we can do many things like um where is it here we go we can uh, there's a calculator it first draws up the calculator which is pretty nice very very fun and interesting um i mean we can do just as takes time we can say wait for it to finish finish yeah, we can say 20 plus three and then give us the answer 23 and then we also have um no sorry we also have the game which you can play and i've been winning as you can see you can see how you play the game and i say x you put o there and i put my x and i won um and then there's also drawings we have this is the ford mark or something i forgot yeah, i think it is is it it's the electric one but i forgot the name uh the mustang something something i forgot and then we have the american version of the raptor f-150 or something doing that which you can color not really accurately but see how you can do that um generally the whole system is pretty well set up um navigation works really well gives you many options and very good view i like the fact that these uh aircon system is very easy like it's very fast you can just go from high to low very quickly 
Uh, I must turn that off. Where do I turn it off? Wait here. Yeah. yeah, before it makes a noise. And then, and then we have wireless charging. I don't know if you guys can see. Let me come here. Yeah, we have wireless charging here. We have a normal USB type and a type fast charger. No, not the fast charger. Uh, type C and a fast charger at the back. We have our different driving styles here. So we can press this button and automatically it shows us this setup. And then one thing I do like, you know, we're explaining it at the launch. If you watch my launch video, we have two high, four high, four L and four automatic with just switches between the two. Hill descent, um, it says hill descent ready. Um, diff locking if we want to diff, uh, lock the diff. And then one of the favorite features sometimes is I always drive in eco mode. So I just twist that and we're in normal mode. Now we're in eco. We have tow and horn. I tried getting a trailer, but uh, it was really tough getting it. So I canceled that for the content. Uh, we also have um, slippery, mud, ruts, sand. But yeah, I'm mostly in eco mode. Let me just switch off these other things here, descent. Uh, and everything else is back to normal so yeah generally on the inside the interior is very good fuel consumption is okay for the size of this vehicle it's a v6 diesel i don't know what else you'd expect from this vehicle but overall i like the vehicle i also do like the adaptive cruise control which is something i use a lot of the time on the highway so once you just keep your hand on the highway it'll curve for you and do quite a number of things for you and then now we have the panoramic sunroof it will stop there first and then you can press it again for the full view and as you can see it will open there for you and then you can press this one which will open first half again like the first one and then you just press again and out is that all hmm. ford please if, if you say it's you it must open something please but yeah generally the rest of the seven seats that back seat is not really comfortable to sit in, believe me. And so yeah, one thing I do like is that when the e-shifter, the e-shifter, when I switch the car off, it will automatically go to park. But the handbrake does not, okay, it's on. Sometimes it doesn't, but uh, because it was on, I'll show you. And one of my new favorite features is that these new door handles, they're very futuristic. Everybody's tries to look for them when it's the first time in the car. Just and the door is open. Overall, I would give the Everest Wildtrek V6 a nice 7 out of 10. Just not a fan of the fuel consumption, but it's a V6, so what do I expect? But generally, the control, the feel, the comfort, the looks, everything else, the specs of this car are just totally, totally awesome. And if I had the money, I wouldn't mind buying it. So what do you guys think? Would you buy it or would you offer something else? Maybe the wild track in that nice orange color. So yeah. Thank you guys for watching today's video. Please do remember to comment, like, share and subscribe. Tell us what you guys think about the new wild track and what we should improve on our video and what you guys would like to see more on our channel. Um, till the next one guys, peace out.